Hey everyone, I'm Dorothy Cassisari and welcome to Celebrity Corner. Here's who we have in our exciting lineup tonight. A reality star who made 11 million bucks last year alone, he's DJ Pauly D of the Jersey Shore. Celebrity makeup artist to some of the most beautiful and famous women in Hollywood, Rami Gaffney. And popular TV meteorologist and weatherman for the Howard Stern Show, John Belaris on his sex crime scandal, his advice for Hollywood's eligible bachelors, and more. Plus, Zoya Nail Polish is doing a giveaway of this fabulous color I'm wearing called Thandy. Later in the show, I'll tell you how to win your very own bottle. Let's get this party started. Cue the open. Entertainment editor, Dorothy Cassisari. Here to discuss that and more is Dorothy Cassisari. Pay attention to every word Dorothy says. Hey, I'm Wayne Brady, and I'm here with the beautiful Dorothy Cassisari here on Celebrity Corner. I'm Dorothy Cassisari, and this is Celebrity Corner. We've got a great show today, but first, we're going to start with all the celebrity news and gossip, and it was a busy week in Hollywood. Miley Cyrus's parents, Billy Ray and Tish, have confirmed they are divorcing after 19, wow, 19 years of marriage. And it looks like Miley's already choosing sides. Just two days after they announced it, her attitude toward her dad was more than clear with this tweet. Since your text and email obviously aren't working, would you like to talk like this? Whoa. Divorce is hard on anyone. I mean, I know, my parents have been divorced my whole life practically, but it seems Hollywood starlets take it the hardest. Let's use Lindsay Lohan as an example. That girl was on top of her game until 2005 when her party animal momager, Dina, split from her crazy outspoken dad, Michael. This started Lindsay on a serious downward spiral, getting arrested for a DUI, landing in rehab, landing in jail, and becoming such a liability that no movie house would hire her because they couldn't insure her. She's still doing community service to this day for all the trouble she got into. And let's not forget about Britney Spears. Following the divorce of her parents, Jamie and Lynn Spears, Britney hastily married Kevin Federline, a backup dancer with a shady past. Remember that? Popped out two kids with him and then went on a rampage in and out of rehab, culminating with the time she famously shaved all of her beautiful blonde locks off. Oh, and she attacked a paparazzi with an umbrella later, claiming it was all for a part in a movie. Britney, Britney you know you're not an actor. Miley, take caution from your peers and don't let your parents divorce do this to you. In other news, she wasn't due to give birth until mid-July, but Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, and the whole Kardashian clan, with a K, welcomed a little girl to the family over the weekend. Baby Kim Ye is already positioning herself to be a daddy's girl since her birth was perfectly timed to give Kanye his first Father's Day. The little diva in training is getting an early taste of the finer things in life. She will reportedly sleep in a $4,000 Lucite crib. My fiance and I just bought a king size bed for our new place and I'm pretty sure it didn't cost that much. There are even reports that Kris Jenner may bring the baby on her talk show for the first time, which debuts July 15th, so we're gonna have to stay tuned and see how that goes. Moving right along, Tiger Woods and his girlfriend Lindsey Vaughn spent the weekend at Marion Golf Club in Ardmore, Pennsylvania for the US Open. And while he didn't do so well on the greens, it seems his love life couldn't be better. Lindsey, an Olympic skier, recently told the New York Times she's in a fishbowl now more than ever. Well, Lindsey, newsflash, <laughs> that's what happens when you date the most notorious womanizer in womanizing history. There were 12 or were there 13 mistresses? Either way, I have news for you, Lindsey. I'm afraid you're going to be next. Tiger's ex-wife, Elin Nordegren, is still beautiful as ever and dating billionaire Chris Klein. Not a bad rebound. Lastly, it's one of the most controversial reality shows on TV and you are never going to believe the new headline that's come out of Toddlers and Tiaras. The popular child beauty pageant show on TLC is to thank, thank, is that the right word? For introducing us to Alana Thompson, otherwise known as Honey Boo Boo, and her sugar-laden energy drink, Go-Go Juice. Well, now a mom from the show is cashing in on a similar drink called Tinker Tea, a mix of Mountain Dew, Sweet Tea, and Pixie Sticks. Ugh. Pageant mom Tori Hensley pumps her two-year-old daughter Alexa with this stuff. Oh, and a cup of coffee each day, because that's normal for a two-year-old. And she claims the caffeine reverses the effects of hyperactivity and actually calms children down. This coming from a mom who gave Alexa, when she was only nine months old, Slim Jims to help with teething. Before we head to break, I want to give a big thanks to Max Tavern in Philly for hosting our premiere party last week. 
family, friends, and the fab WMCN staff came out to celebrate our first show and to sip my personal drink pick. No, not Tinker Tea or Go-Go Juice, but Celebrity Corner Sangria. There's no shortage of celebs usually hanging at Max Tavern, which is an old city. It's co-owned by Always Sunny in Philadelphia stars Rob McElhenney and Caitlin Olsen. Up next on Celebrity Corner, a reality star who made $11 million, and that's just last year. He's Pauly D of the Jersey Shore.